You want to take home fat stacks of cash just like this. Well, in this video, I want to break it down for you. We're continuing the series, how to start your vending machine business with just $5,000. Let's break it down. So something I haven't been focusing on in this series is kind of your permits and your licensing. And I think that's a very important thing. When you start to invest more money into your business, you're gonna wanna follow the law a lot more. If you buy some honor boxes and place them in businesses, I wouldn't worry too much. Make your donations, do your thing. But with a vending machine, a soda machine, a snack machine, a crane machine, depending on your state and your region, the licensing and permits can really fuck you later on. So you have to be very careful with where you place your machines, how you place your machines, and how you register your business. I always recommend recommend people starting their business, looking up online, vending machine permits, vending machine licenses, using the plus symbol, and then typing your state or your local county and seeing those rules and restrictions. But to add to our kind of cost basis, we'll start tallying up the cost of the vending machine business. And I would say if you do the LLC or an incorporated company, that's going to cost you anywhere between $200 and $500, depending on how you file. But if you do a doing business as license, a DBA, you can do that on the IRS website for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. And that's how I start started my business and then eventually converted it into an LLC. Let's start there, a couple hundred bucks for your licensing fees. Your permits is another maybe 20 or $30 per vending machine. It really depends on your business, your state and your region on how much those cost. And then now let's get into the nitty gritty of how much it really costs now. So you have 4,500 bucks. You wanna start with soda and snack machine. Highly recommend either buying leads, getting leads online, signing up for some sales platform. And the biggest thing is really lead generation in this business. You need to be able to reach out to businesses, business owners, owner specifically via phone, email, however, in person, and start talking to business owners who have employees, who have foot traffic, who have visitors on a daily basis so that you can generate sales from your vending machines. Your vending machines are like a retail store. If you put a retail store in the middle of nowhere and no one passes by it, you're not gonna make any sales. It is not like a website where your website domain can be sent to a million people overnight and they all can buy that product from virtually anywhere. A vending machine is a physicality, physical people and visitors to pass by your machine on a constant basis. So one of the things to focus on is hours of operation. Second thing is the amount of employees or visitors, which is i.e. your foot traffic. And then third is the amount of space that a location has. It really depends on the location and how many machines you want to invest in. But let's just say you're going to invest in one snack and one soda and they're going to be used. Your snack machine, you can get some really good used snack machines for between $700 and $2,000. Highly recommend like a national or AP. On your drink side, a Royal, a Vendo, refurbished machines. There are some companies out there but be careful not to get scammed. There are also a lot of scams in this industry where people will say, hey, send me the money beforehand. Never send a deposit beforehand when buying vending machines. That's just my personal opinion. What do you do next after you have the machines? Well, first off, hopefully you have some space or a garage, maybe a local storage unit that you can possibly rent. And your biggest thing is getting them on location. And then your next cost is now going to be stocking those machines and filling them up with change. So your change is another between 60 and $120 to fill up your coin max on each because obviously when people put dollar bills in, the only way for them to usually get change unless you have a dollar bill recycler, which recycles the dollar bills back out. If you put a $5 bill in, it'll actually give $2 back if you were to spend $3. But most vending machines, you put a $5 bill in, get a $3 item, you're getting eight quarters back. So you need to have an adequate amount of change so your customers are satisfied. Now you need to get between three to probably $600 worth of product, different bags of chips, different cookies, different candies, different trail mix, different nuts, peanuts, all types of stuff, drinks, soda cans or soda bottles. I am different, unlike a lot of vending companies across the entire country. I vend cans predominantly. I do also vend bottles and not as much. I see a lot more profit and turnover in terms of cans rather than bottles. And I also focus on my profit margin. Say you buy between three and $600, putting you at that $500 budget. Those three to $600 worth of products can generate anywhere between 600 to $800 worth of profit on top of paying yourself back for those snacks. List out your products, list out how much they cost per unit, and then list how much you're going to sell them for per product. And then just take a simple percentage by dividing the two numbers up and multiplying it by 100 and you'll get a percentage on how much percent you'll actually make when an item is vended out of your machine. I would never go low. I see a lot of people in this industry trying to go super low. I don't think that's the time to do it. Inflation is at an all time high. I highly suggest you start with higher prices depending on the demographic and the type of people and the people that are working around your vending machine. Price it accordingly to that. I think some people are going to say, wow, that's crazy that you do it that way. But truthfully, that's business. Business is all about making a profit. 
profit on top of the cost of the product that you buy. So this is business 101. And from that, you found leads online and you place two vending machines. You also would need to hire a remover. They usually charge between $125 to $150 per machine. So you have another $250 cost to get the machines moved. Now we're all in $5,000. Now I think this is where we're kind of getting into the next video, which is how to start your vending business with $10,000. You need an IX device. Those devices range anywhere between like $290 to $350, depending on how many you buy. So now we're all in for a little over $5,000. You can expect by the end of 12 months, you have paid yourself back and are now a profitable vending machine operation with just one location. So you can see this vending business does work and it does scale and it is very profitable. Let me know if you made it to the end of the video and tell me what you want to see in future videos. As I think I'm kind of running out of vending ideas in terms of should I jump into my business? Should I show you guys cash collections? What type of videos are you specifically looking for so I can provide the best value to you? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.